I'm Pastor Tim Gauger of Christ Our Savior Lutheran Church in Rockford, Michigan, and this is your Coscast for Friday, March 19th, 2021. Our church council met this last Tuesday and has a recommendation to the congregation that I'd like to share with you. They're recommending that we begin construction on our expansion project in August. As you know, we paused the project last March when the pandemic broke. Even though we had bids received, which were acceptable, even under budget a little bit, even though we were very close to finalizing a construction contract with our builder, even though we had arranged financing with Wells Church Extension Fund and the terms were acceptable to us. But we paused the project because paying for it after the building was done was going to require a 10% increase in the regular giving that we do week to week. And while as the congregation had pledged itself to that by deciding to proceed with the project and giving their go-ahead, uh, since the pandemic struck and was causing such uncertainty with our jobs and our income, it was felt that the reasonable thing to do was to pause, and that's, that's what we did. Now, I don't have to tell you that the pandemic is far from over. I don't have to tell you that its effects on individuals as well as even on our church have yet to be completely understood and realized. But there are some things that are becoming clear. One of them is the financial position of your church. In the last 12 months, offerings have been remarkably stable. So we're in good shape. This is a blessing of our God that he has moved us to keep up our giving. We've actually even improved our financial position a little bit. That's in part, a small part, because expenses reduced. If you remember, we had several months where there was no in-person worship or no in-person um, ministries here. Uh, and we had a little bit of savings in, as a result. But it was just a small amount. The real reason we've improved our financial position is because in the 12 months since, we've been able to pay our mortgage down a little bit more as scheduled, and at the same time, we've been able to gather more building funds as also were pledged and committed. So thank you for that. The result is we're in a little bit better financial position than we were a year ago. Another thing that has become clear is that God has protected his people during this pandemic. Uh, while many of our households have had COVID, including my own, uh, we are thankful to the Lord that while some of them were very serious cases, uh, we are thankful for the Lord that in his wisdom he has not chosen to bring any of us home to his side because of COVID. Also, while some of our households have lost employment and have experienced or experienced income reduction, for the most part, it appears that the Lord has provided stability to his people in their finances. In fact, many of us have not seen a reduction in income and have even improved our financial positions a little bit due to unprecedented federal aid coming from the government. Could you imagine this uh, a year ago, the kind of checks that people have received, that you have received uh, in these last 12 months and maybe even this week? Uh, so anyway, we have reason to give thanks to the Lord uh, that he is clearly protecting his people. On April 25th, uh, there's going to be a quarterly meeting at which you're going to be asked to act on the recommendation of the church council to begin construction in August. The ultimate decision is yours, not theirs. They do the study, they do the work, they have more things to share with you as more things to become known, but ultimately you make the decision. In the meantime, the building committee is going to ramp back up its activity. Our builder, in fact, this very moment is approaching all the subcontractors who submitted bids last year to get new pricing. Uh, there's obviously going to be an impact on, 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 the, on, on the delay uh, to the price of this project. We'll see. It's yet to be seen what that will be. Uh, we're also reapproaching uh, the Church Extension Fund, our, our uh, lender, as well as some other lenders, uh, to arrange financing to get the best possible terms we can for our project. We're doing all this right now so that you can have the most up-to-date information 
before the April 25th meeting when we make this decision to try to start construction in August. Also, what I'd ask you to do then in the meantime is continue to pray that the Lord would allow these things to come together as we are hoping and that this much-needed project and long-planned project can finally get underway. Uh, and also continue to be the faithful stewards that you are of the blessings that God gives you and your wonderful support of the ministry here. Uh, it's needed, it's necessary, and it's very, very much appreciated as we continue to spread the gospel to each other as well as to others in this community who need that comfort and hope, and as we continue to care for one another and support one another on our way to the heavenly home that Jesus has prepared for us. That's all for now. God bless your day.